Hi everyone, this is Mr. Gokul, AP Coordinator at ATEC. As such, my primary responsibility is to work with the College Board and organize and administer the AP program at our school. At ATEC, we are committed to the success of every student. Providing access to rigorous coursework such as AP plays a crucial role in that success. Now, if you're new to ATEC or you've never taken an AP course before, uh, this video is especially for you. So let's get down to the basics. And the first question is, what are advanced placement courses? AP courses are introductory college level classes that are taken in high school. You take the course, then you take the corresponding exam at the end of the course, which is in May. And if you earn a score of three, four or five on a scale of one to five in the exam, you can earn college credits and or advanced placement. So every year, over two million students take over 5 million AP exams throughout the country and in other parts of the world. So obviously, there must be some benefits in taking AP. Now, there are so many benefits, but I'm just going to touch on just three. First, <laughs> with AP, you can earn college credits and or advanced placement. You skip the lower level courses in College, move to upper level classes, therefore you save money and you can graduate early from college. Second, AP makes you stand out in your college applications. Fours and fives in your AP exams will pass a message to the college admission officers that you are ready for college. And thirdly, and I think this is the most important one, is that if you are in an AP class, you experience the rigor of a college level class and develop the academic skills that will make you successful in college. You develop the critical thinking skills. You learn how to write those college essays. You learn how to do college research. You build your confidence. You learn about time management. All of these skills are essential for college success. So, uh, let us look at the courses we offer at ATEC. Last year, we offered 26 different AP courses. We had 762 students, which is over 70% of the school population, enrolled in over 1,690 AP exams. And this is what really makes us the top college prep school in the state. This year, we dropped a few courses, and that is because of the budget cuts due to the pandemic. Even so, our students will be taking AP exams in at least 27 courses this year. So let's look at what courses are offered at ATEC. Let's look at English first. We offer both the courses, English Language and Composition, which are taken by juniors, and English Literature and Composition, taken by seniors. English Lang has become one of the most popular courses throughout the country, and it really helps students learn how to write those essays for college. English Lit involves more in-depth analysis of literary works. With math, we offer all the classes, AP Calculus AB, AP Calculus BC, and AP Statistics. Now, AP Calculus AB is very popular at ATEC. Uh, also, if you, you should really be looking at your uh, college goals and your future career. If you're thinking about engineering, you should be looking at some of these calculus classes. In the sciences, we have all the science courses, but they will not be offered until we know that we have a certain number of students signed up. 
So currently, we do not have AP Chemistry, AP Environmental Science, and AP Physics 1 and 2. Again, consider your college goals when you look at the science courses. If, you, if you're interested in engineering, you should be looking at the AP Physics classes. In social sciences, we have all the courses. Uh, human geography is for freshmen. Uh, world history is uh, for the sophomores. US history is taken by juniors and AP US government and politics taken by seniors. We also have other elective courses in social sciences, such as AP psychology, which is one of the most popular courses in tech. Um, we also have AP macro and micro offered to uh, 11th and 12th graders, uh, a class that would be really good if you're thinking about entering the business world. If we have enough numbers in European history, we'll offer that class as well. We have a number of electives. First, computer science. We have both AP Computer Science A and Computer Science Principles. Now, Computer Science Principles is part of our Computer Science program area and is offered and is offered to all the sophomores. Sorry, it's offered to all the freshmen, but it can be taken by other students as well. AP Computer Science has been pushed a lot throughout the country because people believe that uh, some basic knowledge of coding is essential in any profession in the future. In world languages, we have AP language and AP Chinese language and culture, AP Spanish language and culture. Our students do exceptionally well in both these courses. Something to remember is that if you take, for instance, AP Spanish language and culture, you will fulfill the foreign language requirement for California colleges. In art and design, we have all the courses formerly known as Studio Art. Here we have AP 2D Art and Design, AP 3D Art and Design, and AP Drawing. In all these classes, there are no formal exams. Students have to submit a portfolio digitally and a physical portfolio to the college board. And finally, uh, two other electives which are part of the capstone program, AP Seminar and AP Research. Uh, the seminar uh, involves submitting some task on the digital portfolio and taking a short exam at the end of the year. The research does not involve uh, any exam. You have to submit a research paper uh, at the end of the year to the college board. Now, what is interesting is that if you get the AP seminar and the research, and if you get a three, four, or five in any four other AP courses, you could be awarded the AP Capstone Diploma by the college board. Makes you look good on your transcripts, makes you look good on your college applications because colleges know you have done like college level research already in high school. If you don't get four other AP courses, you can still earn the AP seminar and research certificate. So, how about the AP exams? The exams are offered in the first two weeks in May each year. However, students have to register by the fall. And it's important to note that if you are in, AP, in an AP class, you will have to take the AP exam at the end of the year. This is the district, state, and school policy. So, uh, look at, let's look at the exam fees. The exam fees have gone up by $1 from last year. All AP exams cost $95 per exam, except for the seminar and the research, which cost $143 each. Now, the College Board does provide a fee reduction for low-income families based on the USDA Food and Nutrition Service Income Eligibility Guidelines for 2021. So if you look at this table here, based on family size and family income, for instance, if you're in a family of four and your total 
annual family income is $48,470 or less, then you qualify for a fee reduction. So look at the table when you are trying to figure out whether you will get a reduced fee or not. Now, it's very important to remember that if you do qualify, you have to fill out the CCSD financial assistance form and email it to us for verification. And very, very important here, please note that from this year onwards, receiving free and reduced lunch does not automatically qualify you for the reduced fee. You have to look at the table above to see if you qualify. So how do we do at ATEC with these AP exams? I have to say we are good AP school. Now, if you look at AP exams at ATEC over the years, you'll notice that we have showed steady growth uh, with everything. Uh, the number of students taking AP exams, the first row, has increased to 759. And uh, we find that this is over 70% of our students are taking at least one AP class. The number of exams over the years has doubled and tripled, and now we're administering over 1,539 exams to our students, and the scores have gotten better. You know, the number of students with three and above has increased, and last year it was 536, meaning that 536 students earned some college credits. Now, if you look at this graph here, it is a five-year school score summary, and you'll notice that we are a good AP school. We always performed between 82 and 87, but the last two years there was a slight dip, and that is because of the tremendous increase in the number of students taking AP exams. But we still perform way above the state and global averages. We are at least 35% uh, above the state average and 25% above the global average. In this chart, we have our AP Scholar Awards. Last year, there were 311 students who received AP Scholar Awards because of their outstanding achievement in the AP exams. We had 19 national AP Scholars and 18 AP Capstone Diplomas. Now, you know, these awards make students look good in the college application and in their resumes. So let's look at uh, AP uh, from a college admissions perspective. Now, previously, colleges were looking mainly at the GPA, the standardized test scores like the SAT, the ACT, and the rank. But more and more today, colleges are looking at the strength of the curriculum, grades in AP courses. These have now become the top factors in the admission process because it gives colleges a good idea whether students can handle the work in college. So if they're challenging themselves in high school, they will probably do well in college. Finally, let's look at uh, the question of rigor and balance. Now, you have to understand that AP courses are much more challenging than honors or any other courses that we offer here at ATEC. Now, very often we get students asking, how many AP classes should I take? There is no right answer. It will depend on a number of factors. You have to look at your stress level. You have to seek a balance. Consider your strengths and interests. Take classes that you would like to, that interest you. Don't take it because your friends are taking the class. Also, evaluate your time commitment priorities. If you're playing a sport uh, or if you're working at the school, you can't really take a lot of AP classes. Be prepared for a possible great dip. If you've always been a straight-A student and you start taking these AP classes, you should be prepared um, to, to accept a B now. And so also, consider your college uh, goals. 
Now, with AP, you find that there is uh, more rigor, the pace is faster. Consider your learning style. If you're an independent learner, AP may be good for you. And also, uh, you know, with AP, there's no exit policy. Once you sign an AP contract, you stay in the class, you take the exams. You cannot quit any time you want to. So I would say, uh, make your choices carefully as you choose AP classes from year to year. Um, do not take too many AP classes. Now, if you want more information on AP, uh, your best resource is your counselor. You can email me, uh, talk to your teachers, talk to friends who have taken AP, but the best website to go to is AP student.collegeboard.org. So uh, I hope that you have got more information on our advanced placement program here at HEC, especially for people who are new. Uh, you know, don't hesitate to email and ask questions. And thank you very much.